R. What be a pirate's favorite letter? I don't know. Well, oh. take a guess. R. <laughs> no, it'd be the C. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's a beautiful day in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we're gonna to tell you about some shipwrecks. My name is Chris Flores, this is my great friend and business partner, Tim Loomis. We are the owners of White Whale Real Estate, and you have made it back to another White Whale Weekly. We're so excited for you to be with us. It's mid-December, it's beautiful weather out, and we love the ocean, and we love pirate ships, so learn all about it. For 12,000 years, people have been living in the great state of Florida. For the latest 6,000 of those years, people have been traveling the waterways and canals by canoe. There have been over 300 historic canoes and boats found in over 200 sites in the state of Florida. The first European encounter was by Juan Ponce de Leon, who landed in present day St. Augustine in 1513. When, when Ponce de Leon landed, he actually thought that Florida was an island. He named it La Florida, so he continued to travel southbound towards the Keys, which he named Las Tortugas, and then all the way around back up to Tampa Bay area, eventually realizing that Florida was not an island. So why are we telling you all of this? Time traveling, all right. So the reason why we're talking about shipwrecks today is because Daytona Beach Shores has its very own shipwreck. And no, I'm not talking about the one behind us, even though that is a whole nother conundrum in itself. Uh, so Daytona Beach Shores has um, uncovered a shipwreck recently due to the severe beach erosion caused by the last two late hurricanes of uh, November in 2022 that hit Florida. So those would be Hurricane Ian and Nicole. A lot of beach erosion, which uncovered a structure of sorts. Uh, so Chuck Mead, the director of the Lighthouse Archaeological Maritime Program in St. Augustine, says that he's convinced that this is part of a shipwreck from the 1800s due to the structure's um, configuration and the iron bolts used. Uh, it's approximately 80 feet long and it appears to be the ribs of the boat that kind of help keep it afloat and together. It's also called the brains of the boat. If you're a sailor or a boater, that would be familiar to you as well. So right now the lamp's main objective is to determine the uh, cultural, historical significance of it, how old it is, and what country did it come from. Over the last few weeks since the shipwreck was discovered, sand from the waves have actually covered up the visible parts of the wreck on Daytona Beach shores. Archaeologists' only intentions are to measure the shipwreck and then possibly take some wood samples for them to be studied, probably because the cost is going to be well into the millions to actually bring the shipwreck up. And according to Chuck Mead as well, he said that it's most preserved where it's at. All right, and to tie this off for you guys and you uh, pirate lovers out there, uh, we want to end it with the five most famous shipwrecks that are uh, at least logged, the five most famous shipwrecks. I'll start it off with uh, Nina the Pinta and the Santa Maria is the number one, number uh, one. of the top five famous shipwrecks. Uh, legend has it Christopher Columbus let a deckhand uh, take hold of the ship overnight while he went to sleep and of course, with lack of experience, he ran aground somewhere and we have yet to find the ship. Uh, number two is going to be the Flor de la Mar, and this is considered to be one of the richest shipwrecks that have yet to be uh, discovered, worth billions of dollars in diamonds and gold and treasures and lions and tigers, oh my. And the third is going to be the Merchant Royale. Number four would be the Le Griffon. I think I'm saying that right. It sounds French. If I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> and then the HMS Endeavor. So those are the top five. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. We greatly appreciate it. If there's anything we can do for you, big or small, make sure you reach out to us directly. Um, www.whitewhalerealestate.com. We're online, and we hope you have a great week. See you guys.